I love to talk with people. I also love to help. I want to help anyone that may be feeling lonely. Leaked new female robot. Weekly Boston Dynamics News. It seems this week was full of interesting news from Boston Dynamics. Let's take a dive into the highlights. Robotic dog helps clean mines in Ukraine. The U.S. Army has agreed to provide one of its two robotic dogs to clean up mines and other ordnance in Ukraine. Halo Trust, a de-mining enterprise with multiple U.S. government contracts to work in Ukraine, will use Spot, a Boston Dynamics-made robot, to remove mortar shells and cluster munitions in formerly Russian-controlled areas near the capital of Kiev, said Chris Watley, the group's executive director. By deploying a robotic arm in place of its head, Spot could help slide unexploded munitions, such as cluster bombs, into pits containing other munitions, allowing them to be detonated safely away from civilians in batches of 50 to 100 shells, and without endangering any of the 10 Halo teams that were deployed to Buka and Brovery. According to the report, it has become increasingly common for D-miners to use robots in the field to increase their productivity and mitigate the risk of blowing themselves up on the ground. In general, Spot is an effective tool for keeping people out of harm's way, and the robot is often used to inspect potentially hazardous materials from a safe distance, said Nicholas Knoll, the company's director of marketing and communications. Robot workforce nothing to fear. The CEO of Boston Dynamics says more warehouse operators are considering a robot workforce after COVID-19 exposed health vulnerabilities at logistics hubs. His comments come as Amazon warns it could run out of workers by 2024. They have almost 100% turnover in logistics jobs like picking and packing boxes, Robert Plater told media at the Collision Tech Conference in Toronto. We've definitely seen with our industrial or warehouse customers that interest in robotics has only increased during the pandemic. Boston Dynamics has shown its stretch robot is smart enough to react to a stack of boxes suddenly falling over and clean up the mess. The company plans to release a new robot every three to five years aimed at mastering a new workplace task. But Plater says the key is Boston Dynamics looks for the sweet spot between what the labor market needs and what its robots are capable of doing. The next robot, which we hope will come out in a few years, will probably be pushing in the direction of more dexterous manipulation tasks, perhaps in a manufacturing environment, he said. Best New Large Workplace Award World-renowned robotics firm Boston Dynamics has recently received the Best New Large Workplace Award at Cornet New England's Award of Excellence Gala. The event highlights the top performing firms and projects in the New England region in corporate real estate leadership, with this year's event highlighting both the 2020 and 2021 winners to account for the gala's 2020's pandemic-based postponement. Boston Dynamics received this distinction for its new corporate headquarters and lab facilities in Waltham, Massachusetts, which was completed in March 2021 by leading construction management and pre-construction services firm J. Kalnan and Associates in collaboration with award-winning design collaborative Bergmeier. Engineering services were provided by NV5, a leading provider of professional and technical engineering and consulting solutions. The 180,000-square-foot research, development, lab, and office workplace was completed in March of 2021 and spans three levels, built within an existing space to accommodate Boston Dynamics' rapid expansion. JCNA and Bergmeier's teams designed and built the facility with an emphasis on enhanced connectivity throughout, including offices, conferences, and workstations that directly overlook open-plan robotics labs. The space was built with natural materials, reflecting the company's commitment to craftsmanship and intentional design. The highlight of the night was when Spot, Boston Dynamics' agile mobile robot, came on stage to accept the award on behalf of its creator. JCNA's commitment to innovation and craftsmanship led them to invest in Spot as an addition to their team. JCNA's branded version of Spot navigated the spotlight with ease and stopped for several photo ops along the way. Spot is able to traverse terrain with unprecedented mobility, allowing it to automate routine inspection tasks and data capture safely, accurately, and frequently. This in turn creates numerous avenues for increased efficiency for JCNA's future projects, with tasks such as documenting construction programs, monitoring remote environments, and automating tasks becoming significantly streamlined. This also reduces the consumption of valuable resources, 
further exemplifying JCNA's commitment to providing best-in-class work while prioritizing safety and the environment. Spot Definite Hit at Collision 2022 There are really only two emotions the subject of robots seems to generate. Robert Plater, the chief executive officer of robot manufacturer Boston Dynamics, said at the Collision 2022 in Toronto, anxiety or joy? The anxiety may be the result of the thinking that the company's flagship robot, named Spot, which was brought on stage to thunderous applause, and others like it, are there to take away jobs that humans would normally do. Plater said nothing could be further from the truth. Our goal is to build robots that work with us and in our places of work, he said. They don't displace workers, they enhance what we do. An example of that, Plater added, could be in a warehouse where, instead of someone unloading boxes, the company's warehouse and distribution center robot called Stretch would do it and the human would evolve where he or she would become a robot operator. Unloading containers is one of the worst jobs in the warehouse, he said. It's repetitive, it's back-breaking work, it can be extremely hot in the summer and extremely cold in the winter. And so, we think that this robot is going to find great reception in the logistics industry. Boston Dynamics states on its website that, while it takes the natural world as inspiration for our robots, the design is ultimately motivated by functionality. Our robots end up moving like humans and animals, not because we designed them to look like humans and animals, but because we made them balance. Balance and dynamic motion are characteristics we have previously only seen in animals. It is this organic quality of dynamically stable motion that people tend to associate with lifelike movement. Plater said the company currently has close to 1,000 robots out in the field doing a variety of jobs. And I've been saying with confidence that we can build robots that can pretty much go anywhere a person could go. And in some cases, even building robots that exceed human capabilities. SoftBank Group International CEO to leave SoftBank Group Corp's Michael Combs is leaving his post as head of overseas arms SoftBank Group International five months after taking on the role vacated by former SoftBank Chief Operating Officer Marcelo Clor. SBGI managing partner Alex Clavel will replace Combs as Chief Executive Officer on June 30, SoftBank said in a news release. The division coordinates with SoftBank's Vision Fund to vet new investments while also providing operational assistance to group and portfolio companies outside Japan. Clor left the firm following clashes with billionaire founder Masayoshi Son over compensation and responsibilities. Two of the three managing partners at the company's Latin America Fund departed to start their own venture business in April. The exiting SBGI chief has played a critical role in some of our most important investments and assets, and I wish him all the best with his future plans," Sun said in the release. I'm glad he will remain part of the SoftBank family by continuing to represent us on various portfolio company boards. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.